as always we start the bike ride and no assist just to get the legs a little warmer I have to get used to making all these adjustments without veering over into the car path <clears throat> safely staying to the right as much as I can today is Sunday I'm going to assume there's going to be a lot of traffic today everybody's coming back from the Chris uh, Thanksgiving celebrations once again like always drop your seat the street get the little thumb wheel and gets me back up today I got my polar pro heart rate monitor on so we can see how I'm doing on my fitness level the roll off automatically downshifts to five Steve from the e-bike shop owner mentioned that I can change the setting for the autos downshift maybe I'll switch it to six or seven I'll keep it at five for now but I learned yesterday to lower the gear faster my cadence the more assistance I get because the bike senses that I'm pedaling faster so it gives me more assistance not exactly sure how that works but of course I'll find out, hopefully. This road is Concord Avenue in Lexington, Massachusetts. I might make this a all turbo ride. Let's see how we do with the battery. I don't mind the cold. Of course, you have to watch out for ice and snow and drivers. We have the GoPro Hill 10 Black with medium odd I have a wired microphone attached to the chest vest or chesty GoPro mount double puppy Hi. Maybe I should start doing a uh, puppy watch count during the rides. Today's the first day of puppy watch count. Let's see if I can get through the screen light. So I like this turbo. So 
So it's a steep hill. <clears throat> like always, I'm wearing my helmet, which I'll have a picture of it pop up with a auto tail light that I, I attach to my helmet, which I'll have a video showing you how it works, which I highly suggest getting. It blinks when riding. It blinks when riding, but then it goes solid when the bike senses, when the light senses you're stopping. Highly, highly, highly recommend installing that on the back of your helmet. People don't pay attention when they're driving, so we have to give them enough visual cues to see us. I do want to get a reflective vest, like yellow or orange. What I learned from experience, plus getting my motorcycle permit, and they really stress this during the course, even if a driver sees you, don't assume they see you. Same thing applies to bicycling, as most of you already know. One of the main reasons why I got the homage with dual battery is where I live, full of hills. Let me know in the comments if you like when I come off the main path when I see interesting things. Such as of course I'm not going to say it correctly. The Kata is a I believe a Japanese pharmaceutical company that has some places in I think Waltham or Lexington. But what drew me over here was these e-chargers. I did not know they were here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, but they model Y charged up. I think that's really cool. Set five. <clears throat> I never knew these were here. So that's pretty cool. Maybe it's the company pays for it, but so that's uh, Takeda. I believe a Japanese company on well, uh, Spring Street. Five or six, I think I think I said five. Five, count them up. One, two, three, four. Five charging stations. I'm getting faster with my getting everything set up to get on my bike, which makes me happy. With the Gold Pro Hill 10, I have a PD battery put in my jacket pocket, which I'll show you, along with this really cool USB-C, USB power cord that lights up when it has power to it, so it, you know it, it's working, which I, I'll have that pop up too. 
I don't have any affiliate links. I don't get paid for any of this little tidbits and pop-ups. But in my photography life, people always ask me what stuff is, so hopefully you find it helpful. <clears throat> like always, please let me know in the comments. And if you're liking these videos, let's see if you can give it a thumbs up. Today gas is 3.59 or 3.99 for super. I uh, don't think I've been on this road. Another new construction, looks like it's almost done. It's pretty big. I don't feel any of these grates or manhole covers, divots, etc. with these dual shocks. When I first saw this bike, I'm like, it won't be able to hold my weight. And Steve, Ox shop owner, let me know that he has the same bike and uh, informed me that recent Mueller for well, this year for this bike updated everything to make it really stiff so a couple days ago I was 262 plus the weight of the ba uh, bike <clears throat> and I yesterday I was able to do high speed riding when I got in the high 30s almost 40 miles per hour And I like the uh, step through. Wearing regular clothes, my New Balance sneakers, which are the headquarters, I believe, is in Boston. And then, like I mentioned before, New Balance provides a military veteran discount. I like when companies look out for people that served. I was in the Navy. I'll have a pop-up of me in uniform. Served aboard a submarine, USS Jack, SSN 605, based out of Groton, Connecticut. I did two med runs. We went to uh, uh, base away base away base was in Sardinia, attached to a tender. Lexington Community Center. At, I have been on this road. That's where we, uh, up there is where we go vote. We'll go left. The dropper post is a must-have if you're riding in the city with stop signs and stoplights. This road is bumpy, but this dual shocks, I cannot say anything or how amazing these are. My back doesn't hurt, my knees, my neck. If you're looking for a, a bicycle that can hold your weight, provide you plenty of speed when required or needed, and very easy to get on and off. I can't, I, I cannot suggest the recent Mueller homage high speed would roll off anymore. I had not been over here before. This place is busy. Really busy. Christmas City. Let's go this way. Ooh. 
So if you're looking for a Christmas tree in Lexington, Massachusetts, it appears that Christmas City has a large selection of trees and ornaments and decorations. I think my wife would like to come here and check this place out. Plenty of cars here today. It is officially after Thanksgiving, so people can definitely in awe thinking about Christmas decorations. Ooh, what is this? Wow, I did not know this was here. I'm going on this. I believe this is the Minuteman. Sweet, I just found this by coincidence. I gotta learn how to get on this Minuteman trail. It's supposed to be a commuter for people going to and from Boston for bicyclists, but as we can tell, it's mostly people walking. But it is Sunday, so there's not, there shouldn't be any community going on. I'm gonna go on this for a little while. With the exception of a couple days ago, I haven't been on the Minuteman trail or a bike path. Ooh, has little markers. When I was in Holland, Netherlands, uh, they had lots of bike paths with lights and strictly bike paths. Oh, puppy four. That was nice. They stopped for me. It would be nice if this guy stops. Steve mentioned that I should attach this little bell instead of the horn because the horn really scares people. Lexington Town Center. Wow, I'm so happy I found this. I've been here since 2019. And I've been on this road to my left, but I never knew this was here. That's funny. Looks like they have little benches and rest stops. That was nice. Not exactly sure what this is. So it looks like it might be a place to rest and get off your bike. That's pretty cool. Oh, she's all packed up with a small wheel bike. Still have to be aware of cars. Visitor Center, Lexington. But that's pretty cool. Wow, today's a good day. Wow, 7.6 miles. Report hazards like a fallen tree. So this is a really, really nice paved road. So I saw a sign for 6.5 miles. So I'm not sure if I'm 6.5 miles from the start or 6.5 miles from the end. They have little signs. Looks like there was a bicycle shop there. That's pretty cool. Be nice if they had uh, places to charge up your e bike on this road.
water bladder. We're going to just bask outside. So it looks like there's places to sit, places to lock up your bike. The road is immaculate. Watch out for the squirrels. Looks like they have some uh, off-road paths. So if you're in the Lexington, Massachusetts area, or wherever I am, they have this Minuteman extremely nice bike trail path. Someplace. Someplace. So if you live around here, you had to go to work there, jumping on this bad boy. And so far, I have not hit any hills. So if you want to get to work without much traffic with the exception of coming up to these road. Oh, they have a water fountain. It's pretty cool. I guess they had a lot of... Oh, looks like I'm coming to the end. Oh, I'll go a bit farther. Drop the seat. Once again, the Ooh, the bike did not downshift. When the highlights beat on this minute, man, it's so. Uh oh, I think this is puppy five. It's so smooth. 100% reminds me of being in, in the Netherlands. Now I see more bicyclists. No helmet. I always think you should wear a helmet. Mile eight. Oh, I think this is 95. Ha! This is great. But you can do some high speed on this. I'm on gear 14 on my roll off. We are now doing, this is flat. Not downhill, not uphill, but with a little bit of effort I'm doing 27 miles an hour. I saw some reviewer mentioning that he couldn't get up to 27, 28 miles an hour. So I can safely attest on a flat road in headwind, I can get up to, with some effort, get up to 27, 28 miles an hour. Puppy six on the left. Maybe he doesn't downshift in turbo. I thought I should check that out. Drop our seat. Did not drop down. I gotta check that out. I'm gonna turn around, but I am going to definitely the mall. If it's not bad weather, I'm gonna do the whole bike. So I'm at 10.4 miles. We have 41 miles of range. I have not been up many hills 
since being on the Minuteman. Today's turbo ride. I'm going to muscle memory. Every time I come up to a stop, a potential stop, I'm going to, ooh, Revolution Hall, what's that? It's like food. Wow. I'm learning a lot of things today. They have a little signpost. L Wife train station is 8.7 miles. So this is like a highway for bicyclists. I read about it and watched it on YouTube. Like I mentioned earlier. Dropper. If you do put your hold your thumb down it jumps up a bunch of gears. So I just tested complete stop took my foot feet off the pedals and it did not automatically downshift this might be a slight uphill I can feel it in my legs heart rates 116 so this is a false flat I-95 on Sunday. Traffic update. Moving north and south. I-95 on Sunday to Sunday after Thanksgiving. Traffic report. Brought to you by Walter Van Dusen. Basket in the back. I like seeing bicyclists wearing helmets. Also nice seeing all these businesses off the Minuteman path. Exactly. No, it does not. I gotta fix that. Definitely want the downshift in. I must have turned it off. I gotta check it out when I stop. Have been stopping, so they must be used to. They must be used to bicycles and walkers. I was thinking to drink water. These fabric water bottles that Reese and Mueller partnered with are really handy to have on the mounted on the bicycle. With these little hooks built into it. Much easier than a cage bottle system. Oop, coming up to some walkers. These guys won't be happy when I pass them. Thank you. I 
I'm getting my muscle movement down pretty well. I don't know where this goes, we'll see. It's, ooh, that's nice. Ooh wee. Not sure if you guys can see these houses, but this is the part of Lexington that I hear about. I am in total guess mode of if I'm going the right direction or not. Looks like somebody got rid of their treadmill. Hoping to be picked up. 14 miles. So I actually did more than I thought I would, but I got a little excited about the Minuteman Trail. That's a nice house. I like the color scheme. Gear eight. Today's turbo day. Now that I'm doing more hills, the mile mile range went down. I'm at 32 miles. I've seen some houses that we haven't seen before. A little nippy today. New construction. Like, ooh, that's a nice house. Sprinter van. These are nice homes, jeez. There's a big boy in front of me. Two car garage, really, 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 really nice. This road has been freshly paved. Ooh. This is the golf course. And that's the road I believe I need to be on, wow. Good guess, Walter. Oh, I was here before. Christmas City. That's funny. I'm gonna make it right. Hopefully that's right. Yep. I think I made it right. Yep. Today's ride was pretty exciting uh, with being on the Minuteman. And uh, tomorrow based on oh, based on weather, I'm going to uh, attempt to possibly <laughs> try to go the whole distance. I think being on relatively flat, sometimes false flat and sometimes false downhill, I won't be on the turbo the whole time. I do have to get better. Oh, okay. I do have to get better with knowing where I am. I think if I go straight, that will allow me to get home. I can also get better at looking at my UV mirror. Oh, I think I have an idea where I am. 
yesterday's ride we went to Wilson Farms which was closed yesterday but now today it's open and people are buying trees more cars than yesterday with no cars this guy's got a bicycle they can get on the sidewalk and not have to worry about cars hitting me I won't get on the sidewalk if I see anybody in front of me. This road's a little narrow. But I do have to watch out for people leaving the driveway because they don't expect to see a bicyclist. So I think we stuck in Lexington for the most part. <laughs> I might have went out outside Lexington when I get on that Minuteman, but Loop 2 is above me. Monastery School to my left. A lot of people don't even stop at this yield, so I have to watch out. Got a very big pipe, bike path here, and this is coming up to the crazy section where people just go nuts during rush hour. And then turbo downshifted. People fly in this road. We are now back on Concord, Concord Avenue in Lexington, Massachusetts. We did 16.7 miles so far. I have 30 miles of range. And for about the most part, we were in turbo. Difference today, I finally got my heart rate monitor on and connected to the Bosch Nyons display. Like always, so far today, uh, this week, I come up this hill, which means we are coming to the conclusion of today's bike ride. I'll do a status report at the end. If you're in the Lexington, Massachusetts area, and you want to check out my homage high speed, please leave a comment and hopefully we can meet up and you can check it out. So... We burned uh, 511 calories. Total distance was 17.5, one hour of bike riding. Average speed was 16.4. Turbo 98% of the time. We did about 832 feet of climbing. Max speed was 36.7. Me was 22. 
engine was 78. Thank you very much, and that concludes our bike ride, and hope to see you guys tomorrow. Please let me know if you like these videos. And we have 65% battery left.